Oh, fuck, I just got to Brisbane Airport. I'm fucking running overboard to the late, eh? I hope I fucking make it, eh? See what happens. Oh, I hope I make it, man. Where the fuck is Jester? Where are we? Oh, Jester's over there. Fuck. Fucking far as fuck. I don't know why I decided to go to, um, to, uh, fucking Brisbane Airport, eh? Should have went to fucking GC. Please be under 20, please be under 20. Yes, I made it, lad. I made it. Oh, I was worried about the way they. Eh? I'm bringing heaps of stuff, even though it's just a fucking drive to fucking, uh, what's it called? A drive to, uh, I can't even think of where I'm going. Just a drive to, from Sydney to GC, but I packed heaps of shit. Just so I got all my hiking shit, all my filming shit. It's a lot of shit. How's it going? How are you? Good. And just a boarding pass, thank you. Yep. That's all good? Yeah, all thank good. you so much. Thank you. Oh, all right. Man, anyone who fucking travels knows the, the worry that you have of like checking in and making sure you get there on time and everything like that. But once you check in, it's just like a instant relief. And the first thing you think is, what should I get at the food court? <laughs> what to eat now? But I'm trying to be healthy, so. Probably won't be able to eat too much, but see what happens, lad. How's it going? How are you, bros? I love your videos, oh, I appreciate bro. you, bro. Thank you so much. Just made it to my gate, but fuck. I feel fucked. I fucking left my watch at home. I'm fucked. I fucking feel so unorganized. I feel like I left heaps of shit, eh? That's the worst thing when you feel like that, but yeah, fuck. I want to feed, eh? I'm fucking hungry, man. But no time. I can't even check my watch to see what time it is because I fucking got nothing. The boys rocking the fucking hat. Stay hard, so That's okay, okay. Sick pants. How's it going? Thank you, and Rose 19. Thank you. Thank you. Go on, yeah, good. Mm. good morning. It is currently quarter to eight in the morning. Uh, I've just woken up. I actually didn't really sleep that much last night. I probably like slept like two hours. I was actually editing just videos all night. Eh? I just couldn't sleep, man. I just kept thinking about today and yeah, I don't know, man. But yeah, pretty much the reason I'm down here in, in Sydney is because I'm going to be driving uh, this car that I've just got. I just bought this car. So it's another car that we could have at our house. So um, yeah, I bought it off my auntie. Um, and I got to drive this car back to Gold Coast from Sydney here, uh, from, from Campbelltown. So, um, but I'm going to split the drive up in three different days. Just because, man, I'm, I'm the worst at driving. Hey, I literally drive for like two, three hours and I start falling asleep. So, um, what, uh, we're going to drive from here to uh, Newcastle first. We'll stop in Newcastle. I'll try and do Tamari Head. I'll try and do uh, the Memorial Walk. I'll try and do, um, there's also a little waterfall. Uh, well, it's not that little, but oh, yeah, it is a little waterfall. Uh, there's always a little waterfall on the, it's in Central Coast, a Woi Woi Fire Trail, so I'll hit that one first. Um, I need to get a haircut today, but then I'll spend the night in Newcastle. Then I'll do the North Brother Track, which is on the way to Coffs Harbour. And that's that's quite a big hike. Every time I've done that, that one always, um, that one always hits me, eh? But then, uh, yeah, so I'll do that. Then I'll stay in Coffs. After I've stayed in Coffs, I'll, if the weather holds up, which it kind of looks like it is, eh? it kind of looks like a beautiful day today. If the weather holds up, then I'll do um, Dorigo National Park. And there's about four or five different waterfalls that I'll do in Dorigo National Park. And if I end up doing them, then I'll explain them. Uh, 
after Dorigo National Park, I'll make my way back home to GC. And um, and yeah, so it sounds like a cool little two, three, three days ahead of me of uh, driving and hiking and just doing mad shit. So yeah, it should be fun as fuck, man. I'm excited. I can't wait. It's a good way to split up this drive because yeah, like I said, man, I would not be able to drive this entire way. But uh, yeah, I'm starting the day off with a nice breakfast with my cousin. Um, I haven't seen him in freaking ages, so it's gonna be good to catch up with him. Have a little breakfast. Straight after breakfast, I wanna get a haircut at Royal Blends, which is my favorite barber down here in uh, Southwest Sydney. And then after I get a haircut, I wanna train. I gotta do some strongman training with one of my boys, Chris. And then after that, I might try and go see Winner, go get lunch with Winner. Then I'll make my way out to, um, out to Central Coast, but we'll see how we go. I might not be able to see Winner today, but We'll see how we go with time. I've got to train, I've got to eat, I've got to do a few things, but man, feeling good, feeling blessed. I'm freaking pumped. I've only slept like two hours, which is probably not ideal, but nothing a little pride pre-workout I can't fix. So uh, yeah, just had breakfast with my cousin as well, and uh, on my way to the gymnasium, I'm on time, which is actually quite surprising. I thought I was gonna be really late, but I'm on time. I'm gonna be there at 10.30 a.m. Gonna get a fat uh, log session in, and then, uh, and then I'll be on my way to fucking Newcastle, mate. Fucking down and nearly. Fuck, I'm excited, eh? I'm actually keen for this drive. The weather's holding up. I'm feeling absolutely amazing. Fresh cut. Not bad, you know? Life's good, all right. Well, I'll see you when at the gym, all right? Later. One way for you, get that shit. Come on. Who said it? I was close, yeah, bro. Like, this, my leg was just slightly off. So I, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was right at that point where I could have pushed it out, but I felt that my leg was out of the bit. Oh, that was close, man. One more bro, you got it right up there. Woo! Get Yeah. 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 Oh, 
Good. Fuck it up. Fucking out, lad. Fucking terrible. <laughs> and trick. Session, eh? It was good. Felt good on the log, felt good on the pressing. Um, the log is still like obviously not perfect, but like it's still um, like it's coming along. And I would really love it if I got that push press. If I practice that push press enough, I think I'd have some great potential at um, push pressing some heavy weight. But um, I mean, right now it feels nice, but. I mean, it's still lightweight, so once I get to like, you know, 120, 130, 140, will I even be able to push press? Who knows, bro? But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling amazing. God is good. 
and um, I'm going to go have lunch with with uh, one of the boys right now and then um, after lunch I've got to drive to Nui so uh, yeah all right this is my hotel room here in Newcastle I've just arrived to Newcastle um, if you can see that sign all the way down there it says Newcastle but bro this place was only 120 bucks it's a pretty good little hotel room for 120 bucks eh? It's not bad, not bad. But yeah, um, I was supposed to do some hikes today, but it ended up being a change of plan because I ended up having a meeting this afternoon and it fucking went for like three, four hours. It was went long hours. So it looks like maybe tonight I might do the memorial walk just in um, Newcastle. So I think it's only maybe like 10 minutes from here. And then I might find somewhere to have dinner. I might do some cardio, have an early night's sleep. And then tomorrow morning, I might try and catch the sunrise at um, Tamari Head Summit. I reckon that'll be the go. But um, yeah, exciting stuff. It was only like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minute drive here, so it's pretty easy. So it's not too bad on the drive so far, but we're currently in Newcastle. So yeah, just a nearly, nearly with the fucking boys and that. Probably getting out of the pub. <coughs> Fuck, lad. Emergency, evacuate now. Just woke up, bro. Oh, fucking obviously. Fucking good shit. Emergency. Evacuate now. Fuck, what time is it? Bro, I'm half asleep, bro. I don't know if I'm supposed to leave. Too much shit to do today, mate. Got too much shit. All right, ready to go. All right. Anyways, Nui, it's been a pleasure. There actually was a fire lad, what the fuck? <laughs> I swear there's a fire, I was just fucking brushing my teeth like Fuck everyone's looking at me like What a fucking idiot That guy's got all his luggage and stuff <laughs> oh, Fuck I'm a dumb cunt It is now time to go yeah, fuck, when the fire alarm goes off, I, I used to live in an apartment and it was always bullshit. Like, it was always like fucking, it was never actual fire, it was always fucking bullshit. So, yeah, I mean, I was just like, fuck, yeah. I gotta go, I got shit to do today. But the fire fucking, the fire brigade was actually here. There must, something must have happened, I don't know. But everyone's going back in now, all safe. Um, everything's safe, false alarm. And I think I might go to the memorial track in um, in Newcastle. I'll just go down there, fucking poke my head around a bit, just to say I'm in fucking Nelly. And then, um, yeah, it's only seven minutes away, so yeah. See what the memorial track, lad. Can fly the drone around for a bit, eh? Yeah. So. All right. We've just pulled up to the memorial walk here in Newcastle. Fuck, to be honest, this is the only thing I freaking know that's cool to do in Newcastle because there's not much else out here. But um, I'm gonna grab my drone. I'm gonna do this little walk. It's not even that long. It's fucking short as, but I'll run down to the um the beach, get a couple clips. All right. 
right, here we go. I'm gonna do a nice little walk first, and then I'll do a nice little walk clip. That way, uh, you know, if I can see the whole view and shit. This one's for probably, this one's the wide lens, or the wide view for YouTube. And then I'll do a clip for, um, I'll do a clip for, Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> That's fucking sick, lad. Fuck, it's nice out here, eh? Fucking nice, man. These roads. All right, so Newcastle right now, and then after Newcastle, I got um. What do I got after Newcastle? Oh yeah, all the way down to Coffs Harbour, four-hour drive. But um, I did hour and forty-five-hour drive, and yesterday, and I, th I thought I did pretty well. I thought it was pretty cruisy, it's pretty good. So I was pretty stoked about that. But, oh look at the views, mate. <laughs> Should we go for a little run, lad? All right, let's go for a little og day, eh? No fucking no. Good knife. How's it going, Newcastle? How's it going? How's it going, Newcastle? Boa. Chua. Welcome to fucking Nelly, hey? This is Nelly. Probably going down to the pub with the fucking Nelly boys after. Get a couple of sconers, a couple of VBs and that. Oh, so this is fucking Nelly, hey? This is the home of the fucking Newcastle Knights. <laughs> right, that was a good little way to fucking start the day. Good little, uh, just a short little run, just a couple little sprints and that. It was fucking mad. And, um, I'm not hungry, so I might just make my way straight down to Tamari, go do that little summit, and then fucking, yeah, the weather's showing up, God's coming through with the weather. God knew I was hiking today, that's why I did this, lad. that's why it's hot, beautiful weather. Far out, man. I'm just pulling up to uh, Tamari Head Summit um, in Port Stevens, and it's absolutely gorgeous weather. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Beautiful weather, beautiful day. God knew. God knew. But I will mention one absolutely horrible sad thing. Is that there is a burger place out here called, what is it? Aussie Bob's. And bros, they got the biggest burger. It's the massive, baddest, juicy, delicious burger. And I'm currently eating clean, so I can't eat it. And every time I've come here, I've eaten it without fail. So it's quite unfortunate that I'm not able to eat it today. But it's not like I'm never coming back here. So one day I'll have to make the way back here and I'll be able to film a little video of me eating this burger. But 
bro this burger is fucking massive and yeah i won't be able to eat it today but that's all right next time next time but uh i need to find a park fuck i got the maddest car park here right in front of where the track starts god is good god new god new bro i got the maddest car park usually you have to park all the way down there this is probably maybe the maybe the fourth or fifth time i've done this and it's, it's i mean it's up there right at the top of that mountain there it's not not the crazy longest but it's quite steep so it's a solid workout definitely but i'm gonna apply some sunscreen just to protect the skin you know tamari national park let's drop baby yeah i've done this about three times but it's a it's a nice cruisy walk i'm just gonna walk it because it's only it's only a fucking short one but um yeah, fucking get amongst it. Because I think I still want to do the North Brother walk. And that's fucking six kilometers return and straight. Grade five incline, but we'll see how we go. Absolutely beautiful days. There's fucking heaps of hotties out. Fucking hell, mate. Trying to focus on the hike, but fucking my eyes going left and right, mate. So you gotta wear the glasses. <laughs> you gotta wear the glasses, mate. You know? Fucking hell, I gotta keep my head down, man. Freaking hell. Yeah, when you look online, it says that this place is a grade 5 incline. It's not the longest, but it's steep as eh? At some stages, you got to do like a, a ladder and shit, which you'll see. But this is a, it's a nice one, nice one, very nice view, very short one. How's it going? How are you? Good, bro. <laughs> oh, feeling it now, man. It's not the crazy longest one, but the incline fucking hits you. Because it's so steep. But it's good. I fucking love it. I think the sun is being covered by the cloud at the moment, which is probably not good. But it shouldn't be for too long. Because there's not too many clouds in the sky. And you don't want um, you know, heaps of clouds for that drone clip, lad. How's that view? This is good, man. Haven't done too much fitness lately, lately eh? I've just been doing straight fucking gym and that. So it's probably good. Shock the system with some cardio. Have a look at that, bruh. How's the view? That's shit. Let's go. This is the spot right here, bras. See, everybody goes and takes photos over there. But I come over here, bruh, just me. Me, myself, and I. Yes. 
Gosh, eh? How good, eh? Yeah, I've been to this spot. Fuck, I reckon like maybe four. Four or... Four or five times, eh? But it's really good. The, the view is absolutely gorgeous. You just can't go wrong with that view. Look at that. Oh, man. Every time I come here, I always feel blessed, man. I always feel mad. But so good, eh? So good. Maddest view, man. God is good, man. Oh, real. I love hiking. I love getting outdoors. I love doing this stuff, man. If you don't do hiking and then get in amongst it and climbing mountains and shit, you're missing out, bro. It's fucking hectic. How's it going, bros? Good, how are you? How are you? How is it going? How's it going, bros? How are you? Yeah, good, good. Trying to get a little little brekkie, or a little brunch actually. It's actually quite late in the Avo, but I need something in my guts. I need a fucking smashed Avo. That's what I really need. That's what I need. A smashed Avo with some eggs, some tomatoes. That's what I need in my life. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just stopping at all different places on the way, so yeah, I can yeah. do a different shit like that. I swear it was you, but yeah, I saw yeah. you. Let's get a pick left. Yeah, yeah. Come here for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking sick, guys. Fuck okay, it, man. I didn't expect to see you there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. never out these ways, man. Yeah, fuck it. Good to see you, boys. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Have a good night. Take care. Say bye. Take care. Not bad. Fuck, that was a beautiful breakfast. Now it's time to go to Coffs Harbor on Waze. Let's go. I've done about, I think I've done about maybe two and a half hours of driving. And I'm actually quite proud of myself. I've actually had a, had a solid crack at the driving today. I'm usually like fucking rubbish at driving and I fucking fall asleep and shit, but I've been pretty good. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. I've been like, obviously watching um, podcasts and, and stuff like that, so I think that's helping, but yeah. The drive is pretty good so far. But, um. Oh, wait, let's. Oh, you're going to appreciate it. How's it going? How's it going? Alright, now I'm driving off from uh, Sydney to the Gold Coast. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll take a photo of you too. We'll get one of you after. No, you just take a photo of me. Cheers, bro. Nice to meet you, boys. 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 Nice to meet you, Sleep. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I fucked up hard out here. I just seen this cheap ass room, it was only a hundred bucks to stay here, and I was thinking, fucking knife, two hundred bucks, it's got a bed, I was like, fucking knife. The only thing is, there's no fucking aircon. Oh, it's fucking boiling hot in here, man. It's fucking hot as fuck in here. This is gonna be a fucking tough night. I'm thinking of just fucking going to another hotel, but. Then I'm like, fucking get over it, eh? Who cares? But, bros, I hate sleep without the aircon, but. Yeah, this is fucking not ideal. I might fucking, um. I might have a shower and see how I feel. Fuck. Not good. Fucking hell. <laughs> Cuts in fucking cans got a bit of a fucking. Staring probably, I think there's not many islanders here or something, eh? Fucking Eric comes just staring at me like a fucking fucking Dwayne Johnson was walking through now. <laughs> I was fucking staring at me. 
Bird. Parents, kids, everything. I was walking through the pub. I was thinking, oh shit. Everyone like stopped what they were doing looking at me. I felt like I was back in fucking Vietnam. Vietnam, everyone stares here. Fuck, everyone stares man. I swear there must be no islanders here in um in uh, KNZ. They must see him and they must just be like, fucking town Malolo, mate. <laughs> All right, well, Jim, fucking um, Coffs Harbour. Let's go. Let's see if this gym's any good. Fuck, I love going to new gyms. It's the best. This one's a mad one. Fox, pretty hectic, eh? Fuck, man, this is mad. I've never seen a mural of fucking an NRL player. It's fucking hectic. Fox, a mad gym. Alright. I'm gonna fucking. What should I do? Do some fucking arms or some shit, eh? Get a little stretch in that, eh? Fuck some mad gym, man. I'm about to commit gym blasphemy. I'm about to cur curl in the squat rack. It's a bit of a shit go that um, the strongman gym wasn't open, but you got to get in here and do something, you know. I um, I'll save yoke and um, what's it called? Uh, yoke and front squats for tomorrow. But today I'll just do a little bit of arms because a little bit of arms shouldn't affect my whole program too much. And I will do a little bit of cardio to finish. Should be alright. It shouldn't affect my my program, so it should be sweet. But um, I don't want to fucking blow these arms up. You know me, bro. <laughs> bro, you know me, bro. I'm either chucking a shot, I'm either chucking a shot, or I'm in the jump, bro. <laughs> That's the best thing. I just do an arm do the fucking summer sums out, guns out program, man. Fuck, lad. Holy country. Come on, bro. That's fucked, lad. Oh. oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, you gotta get the lighting right for that one, bro. Fuck, lad. Russ. Fuck, gonna explode. Fuck man, this gym's pretty hectic, eh? I like it here, man, it's mad. Bro, what's crazy is that like, I went to Newcastle, and people were coming up to me going, oh, I love your videos. And then I'm now in Coffs Harbour, and people were coming up to me like, I like your videos. Bro, it's fucking crazy like to think that, bro, people in all these different parts of Australia actually watch my stuff. I thought that like, um, like my stuff probably wouldn't reach like these kind of areas, because they'd probably be like on Aussie TikTok. And they probably get all the other Aussie like content stuff, but yeah, it's pretty cool to see like how like what the reach is of some of my videos. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty blessed. God is good, man. Anyways, I'm gonna give you a better view of this entire gym. Have a look at this.
pretty mad, eh? Oh, yo. What are you up to today, bros? Gee, just at the beach of the family, yeah. Oh, yeah, mad, fucking ass. Appreciate you, bros. Have a good day, take care, yeah, have a good one. Cheers, Uh, <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Go. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> yeah mate. We're currently fucking walking from Labrador to fucking Broad Beach. It's about fucking eight kilometers and we're gonna fucking send it lad. Fucking beautiful day out here in the Gold Coast. Just finished running. Fuck, we're not in fucking uh, Sydney anymore mate. It's fucking beautiful out here man. Oh, man. Fucking nice man. <laughs> fucking hell man. Not bad, JC. Not bad. Fucking hell. Started at uh, Labrador. We've done about four kilometers. We've got about maybe four or five kilometers left. But mate, JC's the place to be. It's fucking gorgeous out here. We're walking past um. Let's go, aye, aye, aye. Hi, mate. <laughs> We're walking past um that little park that was just back there. Fuck, man. Heaps of like activities for the kids. Little water park. Little fucking fucking everything, man. It's fucking bad out here, man. I love Gold Coast, eh? People always say to me, why'd you move to Gold Coast? Hey, it's fucking hectic out here, lad. But, um, yeah, we're about to hit the surface now, then we'll probably go down to Broad Beach, see how we go. Stay tuned, dude, stay tuned. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Nice to be you, sorry, man, my hands wet. I don't want to wear your hand. Nice to be you, have a good day, take care. Stay safe, stay safe. Have a I'll watch you on TikTok where you fucking carry the boats. Yeah, 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 you saw that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bad one, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, give him a hug if you want. Yeah. Fuck off, this guy's GK cut. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro, my friend's fucking out of Bro. Oh, Snapchat? Five, three, two, one. Appreciate it. Have a good one, bro. Nice to meet you. 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 Nice to meet Fuck, we just made it to surfers, man. Hey! That's shy. So we did 10.2 kilometers. We're at the Langham right now. And it's time to get an Uber. Fuck, I've had enough of walking, man. Fuck Uber. I want to get a feed, bro. I need a steak in my life. That's Shay. All right. In the gymnasium now, we've got Monster Dumbbell, which I'm extremely excited because I've never, ever done it before. So this will be my first time ever doing Monster Dumbbell, and I'm excited. So... I only have to do 50 kilos, which I'm saying only like as if I don't know if that's heavy, but in my head I'm like, shouldn't be that heavy, but I'm gonna give it a crack, see how I go. So, yeah. A little video of what's in my gym bag. I actually have a massive gym bag, so everyone always uh, tries to mock me about my gym bag, but ever since I started competing in strongman, fuck, you gotta bring so much stuff to the gym. It's fucking ridiculous, but yeah. So, obviously, EHP Labs, use my code, code Lang. I usually bring Oxy Shred, and I usually bring my Pride Pre-Workout as well. So, I usually bring both of those. Um, Oxy Shred is a fat burner, and then Pride Pre-Workout is what I take just before I work out. So, I've already had my uh, Oxy Shred this morning, and then I'm gonna have a Pride Pre-Workout right now. I usually, uh, that's how I drink my pre-workout, my pride pre-workout, so I usually uh, drink that with this. Um, so we've got my SBD belt. I just bought this. This is a $425 belt, which is quite expensive, I think, but um, it's probably cheaper than a Gucci belt, so, but yeah, this is the best belt you can get. This is, this is the belt I always use. I had my last one for like maybe three and a half years and I just bought a brand new one now. These are, these are Cerebus wrist straps. I just bought these recently as well. But these are good. 
I like this. I usually like them a little bit longer. These are good. I've got uh, SBD elbow sleeves. These are a bit, a bit old now. I've had these for like maybe like three years or so. They're still pretty good though. These are the elbow sleeves, and then I've also got the knee sleeves as well. So, um, yeah, I never really owned any of this stuff, like elbow or knee sleeves. But then um, one of my mates, he he commented on one of my stories, and he's like, bro, where's your knee sleeves? Where's your belt? And all that stuff. And then I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't have one. And he was like, bro, you probably need it if you're going to be lifting, you know, heavy weights. So, yeah, ever since then, I bought them. But the knee sleeves are like, fuck, I love these. Eh? They're so good. Um, I've also got my lifters. These are like um, Olympic weightlifting shoes. So I don't do Olympic weightlifting, but they're good for like, I use them for squatting and um, log and stone and yeah, they're really good. I love them. These are Amalio 4s. Um, they're probably like maybe like 250 bucks. The knee sleeves are probably like 140 and the elbow sleeves are probably like maybe 90 or 100 bucks. I've got Cerebus uh, lifting straps. They're the, the sixes, I think they're called. What else have I got in here? This belt I just got recently as well. This is a Cerebus, um, like a, a soft belt. So um, this one you can probably like do like more like loading movements and a bit more movement without having the like the SBD belt. But this belt's good, man. I love this belt. Yeah, this is I do stones and stuff like that with this belt, and it's so good. I love it. This is a grip shirt. So this is what you use for like log to um, get the log up and you use the grip so that the log will um, get stuck to your body. Um, I bring Aeroguard to the gym because here at night time, the mozzies are bad. So I gotta spray Aeroguard. Um, I also bring a little stool. <laughs> so that way um, I can sit down. But yeah, it's a pretty cool stool lay. So I bring that. What else do I bring? I've got smelling salts. So that's why I sniff just before I, I train. These are the Hellfire ones. I bought those from Cerebus. I bring deep heat all the time. See, there's the bugs right there. I bring deep heat because um, especially on, well, I always train at night. So when it's quite cold, I usually use those just to warm up the muscles and stuff like that. I use uh, Vicks Vapor Rub on my nose uh, just to clear my airways and you breathe better and it's just, yeah, I love it. It's good, good stuff. I bring a mouth guard. Um, I seen Mitchell Hooper and he lifts with a mouth guard. So I was like, fuck, I'm gonna start wearing a mouth guard while I train. So I got that one from my dentist in Turkey. See, look at the bugs, they're everywhere. I've got a portable charger to charge my phone because I bring um, I bring two phones to the gym. So that is my like filming phone. And then this is like the phone that I go live. I go live on TikTok with this phone. So I bring two phones. Um, what else have I got? But yeah. That's my gym bag. I think I can do it. Oh fuck, bro. This is heavy as fuck. Ow. Ow. That hurts. Where the fuck are you supposed to put that in your shoulder? That's tough, man.
three, two, one. Oh fucking hell, bro, that was fucking hard, holy shit, oh, bro, that's the hardest thing I've done in fucking ages, holy fuck, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, bro, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, oh, bro, I was just running on fucking, on my coach's word. I was literally, whatever the fuck my coach said I was gonna do it. Holy cunt. Bro, I don't know if I fucking did too many warm up sets or what, but that was fucking hard, bro. Oh shit. Oh fucking hell. I'm so fucked. Oh fuck, man. Oh. 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 Fuck, man. Ah, oh, bro, that was so hard. That was fucking hard. Oh. I was getting the reps, and like, at the start, it started horrible. I was doing shit reps at the start. The technique was all out of whack. But then you see, as soon as I started getting used to the technique, I started popping them, lad. I was getting both, all four single reps under one minute. And then I'd get one minute rest. But when I started, it was 1 minute 30. And then I was only getting 30 seconds rest. But oh, fucking hell, bro. That was fuck. That was eight sets total, I'm pretty sure. Eight sets of four reps. Oh, bro. Far out. What is that? Like, fuck away. 30, uh, 16, 30, 32 reps. Fuck, lad. 32 reps I just did of pressing. Fuck. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh man, I felt good. I'm happy with that. At least I got it, you know? At least I can go back to my coach and say, I did it, coach. It was fucking hard, but I fucking did it. Bro, that monster dumbbell is something different, eh? You really got to get it in the right position, man. And then, I'm still not even like, utilizing my drop anywhere near as much as I probably could. But, you got to start somewhere, you know? You got to fucking learn the technique first. Even my axle clean and press, like, I want to get in that front rack position, but my mobility won't allow me. So, it's just a matter of fucking balls. Get it here. Balls, bang. Get in that clean, right on fucking my shoulders. And then, from there, readjust. Bang. But, it'll come with time. I definitely need to work on my mobility. I think that's gonna something I'm going to add to my everyday like list. Is work on that mobility. Hopefully, six weeks worth of mobility will, will contribute to hopefully being able to front rack. By, um, by my next comp. But, whew, 
Thanks for watching that. Sorry if it was boring, but <sighs> I feel good, man. Thank you. Hey, geez. Fuck. Um, 15 reps or 70 kgs would be pretty impressive, I think. I definitely think that'd be quite impressive. If I got this, that'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Fuck, I could have done more. I was gonna hit the other rest, but I felt my shoulder a little bit tweaking. I didn't want to risk it. It's not worth it, bro. All right, that's the session done. I'm done. That was actually the hardest fuck session. I did strict press and that, and I did all the rotation stuff and whatever. And yeah, I'm just getting killed by the bugs, so I'm gonna get out of here. Finish the workout. That's done for today. I'll try and uh, record more tomorrow because I feel like I didn't really record that much today. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Love you all. Later.